hey y'all as y'all see me again you know i you know just finished watching um chris's mr jones jim jones whatever i'll put the right title in the description for y'all okay i first was kind of iffy about reviewing the show i kind of was thinking i'm going to do it and not do because i didn't want i really didn't want to do it if it was like the same thing last year i you know I, what made me still have anything to do with watching that show was watching reviews. You closet freak. I don't know. I, she did last uh, the first season. I don't know if she's still doing it. I, I got check up on Saddle. But go I, and I need to put her link down because she does a lot of nice reviews too. Hopefully, she'll be back doing like Real Housewives and come out stuff. I love her channel. And also, I want to put down the Ghetto View again because. She's the only other person that I know, the YouTubers that I like regular, watch on a regular basis that do reviews. She's got half and half. She did the Love and Hip Hop um, New York and half the Jim, uh, Jim Jones as well. But I figure like this. I just got through watching the Houston Beauty. And um, if I can try to review that and try to make something out of... Um, I don't want to want to talk bad. That, Mama J seems like a nice lady. But I will say this on the real. If I can watch that show and try to attempt to do a review and that show kind of dragged on to a certain point, I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. I can sit here and talk to y'all. I hope I don't talk more than what the damn show's length is. But I also want to give a big shout out to, I don't want to mispronounce the way it says, Miss Joseph. I I'll put a description down. Even though she doesn't do like, she has two channels. She recently had... She has to restart one of her channels as General Hospital. So even if y'all don't like General Hospital, just support her. She's one of my um, supporters that happens to have a YouTube channel. And, you know, I want to make sure I support. And, you know, I never got a chance to put her on. Um, on I mentioned her before. I ain't trying to be shady nothing like that. It's because I was just trying to go by what I was reviewing. But, you know, she has one channel that's dedicated to General Hospital reviews. Go make sure you watch and subscribe reviews for that. I watch them, you know, I haven't watched uh, General Hospital since I was a child. And that's been a, a couple times, 10 years ago. You see what I'm saying? But also, she has another channel called, I think, Miss Bond Uncut. I, like I said, Cut Uncut. I'll put both of the links down for her channel. But, you know, make sure you watch her videos and subscribe. And she talks about, you know, lace topics like that hut hut mess. You know, if y'all watch that pedophile bullshit that was on. Don't make me get it started. Okay, hot ass mess. Um, but she, you know, talks about like her reviews and gives her reviews. So if y'all don't mind cussing like my ass, we doing most of these reviews and, and future and present vid, vids. Y'all make sure y'all check her out, okay? Because like I said, she has been one of my supporters. Not just because she's a supporter, but she also is one of, you know, one of my supporters that happens to have, you know, YouTube channels. So, you know, keep the support up. All right, now, let's get into this review, quick ass review of this mess. Number one, I do notice they're in the same house. Number two, what saves this show is that little boy, okay? And it's so cute that he gets his own confession. I don't know if this baby's like 10, 11 years old, but he kind of reminds me of an older version of my nephew. My nephew's four, and you know you got them smart kids, and you wonder if they've been here before type of thing. And that's what he kind of reminds me of, and he's just so adorable, you know what I mean? It, it, and then he's kind of like this level. It, it, it's just that I think that brings the show better off. And based on the previews, I will continue to probably review this and hope y'all watch and, um, you know, view this and like this and stuff and keep it going, you know, because I don't want it to die, like, backlist and y'all just left me hanging. <laughs> anyway, but I'm just saying, because that was a good show, too. I got to catch up with it, by the way. I know this off subject, but, you know, I am. If y'all watch my videos, or y'all would know if y'all are new and y'all subscribe. Okay, I, it's four minutes going pop out, and I just rambled on. You know, let's just talk about it. Coincidence, um, uh, while they're, you know, go kart riding, whatever the case is, all of a sudden the baby wants to live, you know, Pooty, that, that Pooty, Pooty, is his name Pooty or Puggy? I, I don't want to remember, but Jim Jones, baby, okay, son. Because I don't want to mess the child's name up. Jim Jones, son, uh, wants to coincidence move in with him, and all of a sudden, it seems like two hours later, the baby is staying with them, okay? And, She's, Christy shot, now this is when you know it's staged. The child probably got permission from his mom or whoever his guardian said, most likely his mother, 
is they probably he coincidentally staying because they want to save the show and have it more of a positive light, and, but have like an interesting storyline that does have to be negative, and that's what it seems like most of the time. You know, we've seen the previous with Deb again's ass, and her wanting creative control. That's the only thing. But it's focused more so of the son and Mama Jones um, with her book and shit like that. So the baby staying with him the first the first day. Um, you got Chrissy going downstairs, making breakfast. Jim Jones pretending like he's asleep. Um, and she's taking care of the son. And then, make a long short start, you know, Jim Jones decides to put the chores on the child. And says, like, him change lives need to be changed. Don't get on Chrissy's bad side. Basically, some of the stuff that Chrissy wants Jim, most of all the stuff that she wants Jim Jones to do, he gonna put on the child. You know, it's gonna have the child probably sit there and clean the chimney if they have a chimney or anything. And mow the line the back in front of the yard, you know. And stuff like that. So he can get out of it. But like I said, I think it's cute. So cute with this child so far. He, like I said, to me, he brings out the show. Now you got Mama Jones and the voice. Can you, you know, can, ain't it going to have a scene? That would be kind of ill, though. They have a scene with Mama Jones and Deb at the same damn time, the same room. Wouldn't that be something? Everybody just sucker like this. Like they need a bunch of lodges and just, they chewed on glass. A cough drops. <laughs> so, anyways, she got this thing. She has this friend named Sassy. I guess K. Michelle got Paris as her friend in New York. And coincidence, Mama Jones, not to say this thing in real, you know, road dogs in real life, but I, they just got the sidekick that happens to be a little more curvy but luxury. You, you know what I'm saying? You know, they got the sidekick. And I don't know why, to me, the sidekick seemed to relate it. <laughs> we'll, we'll leave that alone but anyways um you got freddy trying to get back in freddy slime ball okay i like to call him slime ball something slimy about him he just he just ghostbuster slime you remember slime ghostbusters from the 80s y'all watch y'all the 80s babies and stuff and beyond y'all know about ghostbusters so freddy slime it's sitting here when we get back good with Mama Jones after she feels like, you know, he slimed her and screwed her over the deal with the Pukashi or pussy, it, pussy in a jar, okay? Uh, pussy, you know, Boomerang, Ray Jones character, you know, perfume should be the smell of this. That's what it is. Pussy, in, pussy juice in a bottle. That's what the fuck she was trying to sell us. <laughs> you can't get more blood than that. And she's now, I think, in a future episode, is going to write a book. Betty, Freddie is sitting here. Like, giving us loose clues of possibility they might have screwed each other. Mama Jones is feel comfortable. It could be one of those situations you can go, I don't like you like that. Because, you know, Sassy was telling the story. There's rumors all around that they've been screwing and stuff like that. And, you know, Mama Jones. And then here's Slimeball Freddy is sitting here trying to beg Mama Jones. But here, if you're trying to come with just a platonic friend thing, you got roses. Trolls and condom boxes. I mean, they wasn't there, but I'm just saying, damn, there should have been roses. I think some um, Moscato or some shit. And, you know, um, you know, stuff like that that's really meant for lovers. And she didn't want to sit here and even have a picnic. He all trying to follow the car. She bit him shit like that, whatever the case was. And then, you know, basically, you know, he's trying to give out slime ball, trying to get professional. Because, like I say, he wants his two extra ten minutes of fame. And the senior saying, it might have been something that happened in Vegas. And she might have asked me to show it. Uh, um, she asked me to show uh, show her my dick or whatever. And somebody went down. And, and she might have went down. You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> You know, but it's just, it's, it's sea thirstiness, whether he's really after attracted to her or not, or just trying to get on the show. It just is a slime ball mode, okay? Mom, Mama Jones is naturally her, okay? Issues, okay? It, okay, we, we live off of her deep ass voice and, you know, just her own world, okay? Her, that's why her and Scrappy's mom get along, Mama D, okay? So they ain't they, they ain't they castles. I don't know where Mama Jones be at, but I mean, I know Mama D's in the, in the castle, okay? wrong show <laughs> like i said so you got that freddy's now i mean she ends up like they're just talking stuff like that but we don't know any more of the relationship than you got like you know chrissy and jim jones trying to decide about the responsibilities going to take with this little boy and then deciding about that and you know christy you know because next day the baby took uh, I mean, I, I, i'm sorry I mean, the little young child the, the son goes ahead and makes his own breakfast making for christy also to be on the good side and you know i forgot to mention when they were at the table stuff like that here he go with his old young behind talking about y'all asking about my relationship because you know he he talking with the swirl swirl that stuff but uh, sw uh 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 oh 
white little girl, whatever, you know, you be, you be careful because these kids be advanced nowadays of what they be doing and this stuff they ain't have no business doing, okay? And, um, he all talk, talking, uh, talking, told the truth, which should it can be applied to a lot of these rappers. Because <laughs> when Jim Jones talking about how we do FaceTime, and I know she'll probably love to see me, and the boy just told him, Daddy, she don't know you. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I said, that baby, that child saves the show. So in other words, they're deciding, you know, like trying to work with, work with the child and, you know, making arrangements. Of course, Jim Jones trying to slide more responsibility on Christy. And that's pretty much it with the show. Okay, but like I said, based on the previews, it's not going to be, like, drama field, and I do believe the boy kind of might possibly save the show, might stretch it out. We, we don't know, but I, I like I said, that's my review, my quick-ass review, because the show was only 30 minutes. I ain't got to sit here and ramble and talk, because that's pretty much what it was. You get the introduction to the boy. He magically just, that same day, just gets slips off the house. The house that Chris is going to sell. And now you don't see no movie signs. And all of a sudden they just stay in the same house. You still got, I don't know what the bulldog's name is. He's still saying making making his guest appearance. You better get your money in. You know. <laughs> I'm just saying that um, there's nothing really too spe special, uh, you know, that that really stands out. But they are going for the family theme with cuss words and probably weed. Um, weed you know, themes to it, because, I mean, Jim Jones did look like, did he look like he tried to attempt to shower, or at least wash up with a cloth? Does uh, he starting to look like he kind of is trying to, or he don't do the, he's one of those few people that, even if you wash up, he appears to be dirty. I mean, he did help when he gets haircut and shit like that, but I'm just saying, something about him, like, he tries, and it's still epic fail. Okay, just do 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 okay? <laughs> so, anyways, y'all, I'm gonna get out of this, this is the last video I'm doing, for tonight, I guess, and I'll be back tomorrow night uh, for Scandal. If anybody, you know, for celebrates Halloween, whatever the case is, I'll be doing, I guess, a Halloween edition of a Scandal for everybody. All right, everybody, good night this time for real. Y'all take care.